and I think I'm going to cry. We're all in Aww. tears right now. We were in a Van Nuys neighborhood where we heard that Hogg was seen by someone, and we were with Patrick Lewis when he got the call <gasps> that his 18-year-old cat, who was Aww. taken by an Uber Eats driver, Hogg, was found, and you're wearing sunglasses now, and I'm going to put you on the spot, but you were crying. Well, yeah, this is, I mean, I can't. Did you want to say something? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm just shocked. I don't know. I, I didn't, I'm, I'm speechless right now. This is very emotional for you. You rescued this kitty when she was just a kitty 18 years ago in New York, off the streets. Doctors told you she wouldn't survive. You nursed her back to health. And she is a member of your family. And you have been searching desperately, and we've been following your search. This is, I mean, the, the, I, the, the, I'm just, I'm speechless. I thought a few days ago I had that moment where I was like, this isn't going to happen. We're never going to see her again. And but we kept... You know, plugging away. Every so many people, so many people helped with all this. There's so many people posted on so many different things. I mean, the fact that you saw a posting by someone that I, I don't know. And let's bring Allison Smith into the story. Van Nuys, your dog, your senior dog. Where it's yeah. all about senior pets today. Right. Your senior pet kept barking at a fern, yeah. and you, you knew something was there. And the dog yeah. kept trying to tell you there's right. something in this plant, and it right. turns out it was Hog the cat. And you're crying yeah. too now. Yeah, it's very. It's a nice story. It's a very nice story. And you're so emotional, and you've been nursing this cat, and, yeah. and you saw the ad on next door, the yeah. word of mouth, and you yeah. called Patrick when we were with him, and, right. and you had no idea this is a famous cat who was caught on camera being taken from her home. No, no I had no idea. I didn't know any of that. I just knew that she belonged to somebody, but I just thought it was probably a neighbor that was letting her out, and I just thought she was too precious to be out because it's not a good urban environment for kitties to There's be out. Coyotes spotted in this neighborhood. Right, exactly. exactly. All right. Allison, so, thank you so much much You're welcome. for rescuing her. Patrick, I share in your joy. I, I am so happy for you. I know your kids have been asking about They've her. They've been asking where they keep, they call her Pink Cat because she has a pink collar. So they've been, they keep saying, when's Pink Cat coming back? And I've been telling them that she's on a little vacation, but that she'll be home soon. And uh, so now she's going to go come home. Bring her home and they can... Yep. And just to fill in, our, and just to fill in our audience on what's been happening, it turns out that Uber Eats driver originally said that she took the cat to the shelter because she thought the cat was a stray, even though she had left the collar behind. Surveillance video showed that was not true. Then the Uber Eats driver claimed she gave it to a woman named Jane in some random neighborhood, and that apparently isn't true because there is no Jane. We don't have a Jane, and Jane and the cat was just found by itself. What are your thoughts? Thoughts about the Uber Eats driver now? You know, I, I actually just called her because um, she, her and I had been in touch a little bit just talking about some of this. So I just called her to let her know that, you know, Hog had been found and she just started crying. She's, I mean, because, you know, she's off the hook. It's uh, like I said all along, no one's mad. We just want Hog back. And now Hog's back and everyone can just. No hard feelings, Patrick? No hard feelings, just if you're, you know, I'm just so happy right now I can't have hard feelings. Let's just celebrate. Let's not think about that right now. Conflicting stories. We've actually done a story very similar to this. I told you about a dog named Pee Wee. Yes. Same circumstances that was also stolen. Thank you, Allison. I'm so happy for your family. Thank you to all the folks who shared our postings about Hog the Cat. She is home. She is safe. This is not a family pet. <laughs> this is a family member. We'll send it back to you in the studio. Michaela. I'm not crying. You're crying, Gigi. You're crying. I'm not crying. <laughs> Hog crying. is a beautiful I, cat she's a beautiful cat isn't she look at this she's gorgeous oh my goodness i am so glad she's home girl you better get a, a meal in you and get some scratches on that tummy he is uh, heading home to take hog back from her vacation yes. <laughs> vacation over vacation over uh and and wow what a what a great thing that that woman who's just walking her dog paid attention to her pet and was able to and look at the hugs oh my goodness that's a story we love to be able to share